It's a tough one. So I put a poll up this morning on who would y'all rather start a franchise with, right? Zion versus Romelo, right? I haven't even looked at the percentage. Last time I looked at it was like this morning and it was like 50-50. I'm the same way. I honestly do not know. Because on one hand, you have Zion, who's been at, who's actually exceeding expectations if you think about it. He's so underrated this year, even though he he made the all-star team. I get that. It's not a lot of people been talking about him. Matter of fact, we got people criticizing him, thinking he hasn't lived up to his hype. They, they, they think that he's supposed to be the next LeBron. No, he's just the next Zion. He's putting up double-double numbers every night. Averaging around a double-double. Wow, 24 points, what, 10 rebounds? And efficiently, he's one of the best efficient boys in the NBA. But he's shooting 61% from the field. Yeah, he gets all his points inside, which he, his percentage is 80% from the field inside. But still, he's able to put the ball on the floor, get to the basket. He can, he needs improvement in shooting a little bit, but he can actually shoot the ball. And they, the Belgians are actually improving now. They're actually building a little bit of chemistry around him. Now we get to Lamelo. What could I say? Obviously, he's the best ball brother. Obviously, he's going to be rookie of the year. But not only that, he's averaging around 20 points per game, right? Around five, six rebounds, or four, four or five, eight, eight point five assists. He's shooting 46 percent from the field. He's shooting 43 percent from three point range. 43 percent. This is his rookie year, ladies and gentlemen. Lamelo was it was supposed to be Lonzo. Lonzo was supposed to be what Lamelo is right now. So if you if you go imagine Lamelo with Zion, did y'all imagine that? Did you imagine Zion with Lamelo, Lamelo being a point guard, running the show? Don't get me wrong, Lonzo is good. He's improving. He said he's definitely improving on his three-point shooting. But Lonzo is not as aggressive and has that assertiveness as Lamelo. You see what Lamelo is doing this year, right? Rookie season. He got the Hornets in playoff contention. That was around 20 points. Eight assists. He's very flashy. And he wants the moment. So I say this right now. It really is tough. Because one hand, again, Zion putting up double-double numbers every night. But not really getting W's like that. Another hand, you got Lumelo being the point guy that he is. And getting the pointers and play up attention. But he already has like, like a team around him. Same thing with Zion, but I honestly don't think Zion, the team they have around Zion, fits him. You know what I'm saying? Like, spacing-wise, I don't think it's great. Ingram is fine. They need to trade Eric Bledsoe. I don't like Stephen Adams' fit with the Pelicans. They need to get a point guard. They need to get a pure point guard for Zion. So, the answer to this... Who I already started a franchise with. I'm gonna put it this way. Not just in this generation, but the last couple of years, we see we see not point guards win championships. We see forwards and two-way players win championships. 
I feel like Zion has a better chance of getting to to the finals than Lamelo does if you build a team around him. Because yes, Lamelo is gonna be great, but depending on the team around him, I don't know if he will be the guy that would get the team to the finals rather than Zion, who can just get a point guard around him, and I think he would get to the finals. So I, I'm gonna I'm comment down below who y'all think because it, this is a really tough one. I honestly, this is really this is one of the toughest ones I did. I, I, I still don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards Zion because I can get a point guard around him. I can build a better team around him for him to get more spacing and be, him to become a superstar. Whereas Lamelo, he's already a point guard, so he's gonna make he making most of the decisions. You need to get like a a, a two way player and a four around him. So again, comment down below who y'all would choose to start a franchise with. That's it for Woodsy Mid Taste. I'll see y'all tomorrow.